Hi all, welcome to the next in the series, Understanding and Using Excel. This time we're going to look at how to create a summary worksheet. In our example we'll be looking at summarising sales for three months for three uh, salespeople. You can do the same for sales, expenses, uh, any uh, worksheet that has numbers. So let's see how it works. I'm going to go to the January worksheet and here I see my three salespeople. They've made sales in uh, each of four weeks there are the sales figures and they've been totaled for the month for each of the sales people and there is a grand total also for the numbers for each of the uh, weeks. Now I've created a summary worksheet where I want to summarize the sales for the months by each of the sales people and the key is this I click in B5 because I want to summarize or bring the sales in for January for Tom I type an equal sign. The equal sign creates a link between this cell and another cell in another worksheet. So I'll click in January and there are Tom's totals for the month. I'll click in that cell and press enter. And Excel has brought that number into the summary worksheet. I'll now click on that cell and I just need to autofill down for the other two salespeople. Now I'll do the same for February. Click in for C5 for Tom for February. Type an equal sign to create the link to a cell in the February worksheet, which will be this cell here. And uh, when I press enter, there is Tom's sales brought in for February. Because there is information in the column to the left, I could double click on the autofill button or I could drag down as I did before. I'll double click that's brought in the uh, other two salespeople and the same for March uh, equal sign I go to the March figure uh, Mar Mar sorry March worksheet click in Tom's month total press enter back to that cell and double click so that's all there is to it I've now summarized their sales um, and if I wished I could uh, uh, click over here to see a grand total for each of the salespeople which I'll do I'll simply click on the auto sum button it's guessed correctly I'll press enter and there are the totals for each of the salespeople and each of the months I'll just get rid of that zero there we don't need that so the beauty about linking is this that if somebody uh, rings and says look Tom's figures for February were overstated by a hundred thousand dollars what I can go, do is go to February and change uh, Tom's figure there will say to uh, two thousand dollars and when I press enter it changes his month total for February but the beauty about it is that in the summary sheet it has changed his figures back from February so uh, I can now see the, uh, the if you like, the, the correct sales figures. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Uh, we'll have lots more uh, coming up in Excel hints, tips, tricks and procedures. And uh, we look forward to seeing you again. Thank you for watching.